blizzard. These are epic snowstorms that greatly reduce our visibility down to, get this, 400 meters or less. Now, why is this? It's because the winds, they are sustained at at least 40 kilometers per hour or greater. And these snowstorms are also associated with heavy snowfall, blowing snow, and these conditions last for at least four hours or longer. Snow squalls, these can be extremely dangerous to drive in. You certainly don't wanna be caught in these. These are narrow, intense bands of heavy snow that form and are often accompanied by very gusty winds. There's two types, typically we track lake effect bands and also frontal squalls. Grapple, it's often confused with hail, but hey, I'm gonna tell you the difference because grapple is soft, crunchy, tiny pellets, and it often forms when super cooled water droplets condense onto an ice crystal. These typically do not have the ability to grow to the size that hail does. Nor'easter. These are storms that are characterized by northeasterly winds, hence the name. Now, what do they cause? Well, they typically cause more damage along coastal sections, but they could possibly produce a wide array of different precipitation types from snow, rain, freezing rain, and even ice pellets. Polar vortex. I know many of us are afraid of this term for a very good reason. Minus 51 in the wind. Coldest day of the year and I feel it. They are large areas of low pressure with swirling cold air. They're typically trapped at the Earth's poles, but during the winter months, they expand, forcing frigid temperatures to plunge further south.